Water productivity in a rice system. How can we use double cropping to make the most of that residual moisture left behind after rice? And can we come in after a winter crop with the rice crop? The main drivers behind double cropping are to utilise moisture. That's certainly probably highest of all. And the opportunity to make the most use of one bit of land. It's the uh, price of this country. You're just trying to uh, make it, you know, get more out of it. Over the last 10 years, probably about five times, we've come back in with a cereal or, or shaft after rice. We are always trying to look after our soils, number one. We have options, so if we're working in a rice system, there's canola, there's faba beans, there's chickpeas, there's wheat, there's barley, there's oats, um, pastures, so we ran them through them. Layouts, whether it's rice or the following crop, you know, we, we, we do often think about whether we should grow on the flat or on a bed system. Uh, there's some advantages both ways. After the rice crop, um, we've generally gone in with canola because I um, find it's, if, it, if it comes in moderately wet during the winter, it's, uh, it stands the best chance against uh, waterlogged country. It's a way of utilising water efficiently. It's also a way of actually rotating your crops to get the best from your soil. So what are the advantages of double cropping in a rice system? And what are some of the key things that growers need to get right if they're going to make this work? The biggest thing with trying to do any double cropping is your timing. And so you're like, effectively speaking, you get into April, you're sitting in the header, you know, you're sailing away, you want the mulcher following you, then you want the disc seeder following them. The timing's critical, but making the timing happen is tough. Some of the biggest challenges are timing. You've just got to get all your timing of operations perfect. So you're harvesting a rice crop, for instance, getting that rice crop off and then removing your residual matter, uh, your stubble, is a challenge. And then getting a crop back into that stubble before a rain event or something similar upsets the whole cart and um, stops you from doing so. Silaging um, your winter crops to go into rice, I, I've done that and I found that was the most successful option. Uh, doing hay has got um, its tricks, D depends on not getting too much rain. I guess I work as a rule of thumb, if you can get three crops out of four, you're doing really well. Don't always expect to get your double cropping every year, year in, year out. Some soils lend themselves a bit better to double cropping. So in the big picture, it's certainly worth looking at, but you do have to be well organised, on time. You need to assess the risks up front, be ready to go, but be ready to bail out if it's not going to work. If you, if for whatever reason, won't like if you're going to be too late or if there's an issue with the paddock. As we can see, double cropping in a rice system is a real option to maximise residual soil moisture. It's a practice that works in many years, particularly dry ones, and if done correctly, can help growers' bottom line. <laughs>